Here's the next piece in our magic series. I've taken the digital read serial sketch on the left, which we talked about before, and I've added this little clicks variable in here. What we can do is not just tell when the button is pushed via the serial monitor, but we can also keep track of how many times it's been pressed. So let's upload this and take a look. Eagle-eyed viewers will have already noticed that I've added a little bit of extra code at the bottom here too. What we've got is this little clicks plus plus. What does that mean? What are we doing here? We've got this extra little clicks variable. The setup is almost exactly the same, except that I'm using an input pull-up because I'm using the Arduino's internal pull-up resistor on this button to make the circuit a little simpler. And again, we're starting the serial monitor communication at 9600 baud. And then in the loop, as usual, we're reading the button state. And then instead of simply feeding that value to the serial monitor, giving us a one or a zero, we've got an if statement stating that if the button is pushed, then you need to increment this clinks variable by one. What does that mean? That means we're going to add one to it and save the variable as that new value. Then we're printing the text clicks. And since it's in quotation marks, that means that it's a string of arbitrary text and doesn't need to be understandable by the Arduino. It's got a space after it, and then we use the print line command to enter the number of clicks. Since this doesn't have quotation marks, its value is printed instead of the word clicks. And since I'm using print line instead of print on this one, we're going to cut to a new line. After that, we just give it a 100 millisecond delay so that it debounces, and we loop around again. Let's give it a go. It broke my button.